keep walking. I should like to thank everyone who has made this Master Butcher of the Year award possible. Ernie, my assistants, young Gary, my apprentice, Stanley from the old sailors who's always been a tower of strength, and not forgetting the lads at the abattoir, but most important, my wife and helpmate Hilary, and I can assure you we will both treasure this wonderful trophy and we will strive to maintain and improve on the service in the Liverpool meat trade in the years that lie ahead. I thank you. Thank you very much. Right, that's a pint of stout, large vodka and lime. How about you, pal? No, it's all right, really. You're on your own with this. You can live dangerously. Well, I could use a brandy. Same for you, laddie. Much obliged, Dave. Plus two large brandies. Two large brandies. Thank you. I have a brother-in-law in Manchester, actually. He's a butcher, too. Ancourt Square, Newton Street, I think it is. Perhaps you know his shop. Oh, well, to tell the truth, we haven't lived in Manchester properly for some years. We've been on the road, you see. On the road, you say? No. No. Trod. On Trod. Right, what you been doing, laddie? Have you been with circus, like? <laughs> but we might just as well have been seeing some of the clubs we've played. You mean you do a club act? Well, well, what is it? Singing and dancing and that? Yeah. Singing and a few impressions. <laughs> well, why did you not say so soon? Well, that's right. We should have had a cabaret here, but got booked in for wrong night. Come on, let's be having you. What do you mean? Well, you'd be really obliging as if you do it, Pam. And there might be a few good in it for you all, eh? But we, we can't just, uh, I mean, we're not even dressed right. But there's nobody concerned. Come on up on stage and I'll introduce you. If you'll shut your faces for a minute, we have a special surprise for you, Pierre. Two actual guests stopping at this hotel, direct from their international cabaret circuit, have consented to entertain you crowd of hooligans. So I'll say no more. I'll let them do the rest. Now bring them on stage. Pam and Larry Braithwaite. Now give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we hope that you all enjoy Ray Charles as much as we do, because he's our first special guest tonight. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more. What I say Hit the road, Jack Don't you come back no more No more, no more, no more Hit the road, Jack Don't you come back no more Oh, woman, oh, woman Don't you treat me so mean You're the meanest old woman I ever did see I guess if you said so I have to pack my bags and go That's right, hit the road, Jack Away, for I'll be back on my feet someday. No care if you do, got understood. You ain't got no money, you just ain't good. Well, I guess if you say so, I have to pack my things and go. This is a 
thing to tell. So give it a rest, bro, for God's sake. Look, I'm only trying to help you. Sod off, then. You could be in big trouble. We are, with you around. Fair's fair now, Lara. I got that gorilla from Glasgow off your back after all. I mean, I've earned my quid pro quo. A quid being the operative word, am I right? I mean, I can tell that you have purloined a few someplace, and it piques my professional curiosity. Just very roughly and approximately now. How many? Quarter of a million. Pam! It's worth it to render him speechless for once. Ooh. We got the tickets there. That wasn't a very friendly what you just did, Larry, son. I would say a wee apology was called for, eh? I'm, I'm terribly s sorry, Des. That's better. No hard feelings, eh? Tell you what, I'll even do your laundry for you. You just hand it over here. Now we're pals again. Oh, I said you, Paddy, you little lady. <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> hey, oh, 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 What's happening? Have the cops got him? Oh, you bastards, you! Oh, the guy with the...